Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to Cougar, Cougar City, City Podcast. Today, Today we, we are, are coming, coming to you, to you um, and, and we are going to talk, talk about, about the new Endless Archive update. update. And, and, you know, the, you know, the sets, sets and such that, that, uh, that are over, over here. here. And, and as, as always, always thank, thank, thank you to Bob, Bob JP, and Jen, and Jen for coming in. in. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How, you guys, how you guys doing today? Doing good. How about you? Good, good. good. Wonderful. <laughs> We're excited, <laughs> excited about uh, this archive. archive. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I kind of am. am. But, but then, then again, again I'm kind of not. not. They need, they need to, to do, do stuff, stuff with some, some of these sets. sets. But, but uh, I mean, how I mean, you guys, guys, what are you guys, guys thinking about, about the, the, the new, new uh, archive classes and such? I think it's dead on arrival. You think, you think it's, it's dead, dead on, on arrival? Arri- Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, personally, like, I'm excited to go in there just because it's a new piece of content. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. honestly, I don't think it was worth losing, like, a DLC, like, dungeon. Like, I mean, the gear. Oh, so, oh, so you, you'd rather, rather have the DLC dungeon? dungeon? Yeah, definitely. Because, like, the gear's not worth... It's a, quite a grind, too. What, there's 30-something pieces or whatever every mm-hmm. week. So imagine, like, that grind. That's going to be, like, a crazy grind. Like, more so than what I think people are, like, letting on. And I don't think it's worth the grind. It's not even close to worth the grind. So... As far as like replayability, I, I feel like, yeah, go in there, we'll have fun, get through a couple waves, cool, seen it, done with it. Where like the replayability on a new dungeon, you know, like learning the hard modes, farming that gear, and knocking out a trifecta, like personally, it's going to be like the, the trifecta to see, like, that, uh, kind of, uh, kind of think it's a dead piece of content, honestly. Bob, Bob what do you think? You, you know, you know DPS. Um, I'm I'm in the same general vicinity as as JP. Uh, I think it's going to be cool to go in there with a buddy, man it. You know, it, it it's going to be fun for a little bit. Um, okay. I, I I'm looking at the sets and I, I'm with JP. Some of the <laughs> sets and, and their bonuses. I'm going. There's no way that you would ever get that to to like really rock or do something significant while you're playing content um at least if you're at the higher end of some of these dps sets that fall out of there like stuff's going to be dead before the proc condition you know becomes available um so i i don't know like i i'm i want to do it i want to you know go I'm through it, it yeah times and, and do it but i'm not going to be grinding it i'm not going to be farming it like i would like uh like vatican follows and in bma well, well what about, what about you jen, jen? I, mean, I mean i, mean, I, know, I know there's some healer, healer sets, sets in there, there. yeah there's there are a couple interesting healer sets but i still do agree with uh jp and bob um the value for me is lost that it's not four man content um going in and just finding like friends to do two people is going to have a lot of like repeating and um just kind of get tired of farming i guess at least when you can go in with four people you could you know you could get more pickups you could share more gear it makes the grind less hard um so two people is going to be definitely a hard farm and uh yeah i would definitely like to pick up a couple of the healing sets but do i think it's going to be great like end game pieces i don't think so i don't think it's going to bring any like changes to like 12 or four man comps really it's going to be fun sets to play with for sure um and, and like JP said, it's it's new content where it's going to be fun to try out something new, but um, definitely like a piece of four man that uh, would have had like better group play, I think. Well, um, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I do, do agree, agree with you guys. The sets are a little bit underwhelming, um, um, and, I and I think there's, there's some, some sets that have a lot of potential if they, if they were, were to change some, some aspects of the sets. Of the sets. Um, but but uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know, know if. Like, I, like think I think it's, it's better, better than the DLC, DLC but, but uh, um, as far as, as everything, everything goes, goes, like, like I, really I really do understand, do understand where you guys, you guys are coming from. from where it's, it's a, little a little bit, bit meh because, because the sets, the sets are, are meh to begin, to begin with. with. Um, um, yeah, it feels like a piece of content that was made that um, you know people struggle to find groups and they're just solo playing it and it's. 
it's an MMO at the end of the day. So those yeah. of us yeah. that do content with groups, um, it's not really that appealing. But I can see it's more appealing to like the people who just want to jump on and wave kill things for a time waster. It's just a little bit of like dungeon sandboxing where they're not going to need a group to do it. Not, yeah, yeah, not that yeah. not elitist, but very casual. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean there, there, there's, there's rewards are not like they don't they they're not going to change anything in the end game, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's a hell of grind, like the view and I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's geared towards the solo player, like going there with your companion or whatever and do it, like. But I mean, I mean, I, I, think, I think there's, there's some, some gear that, that could, could be useful in, in, in you know solo, solo content, content and arenas and such, and such but. but Nothing, Nothing like, like over, over the top, top where, where you know, you, know, you go, go like, oh, I have to have this set, set because it's really, it's really good at Maelstrom or Vatishran. Or, 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 like, like even for form and content, content, like you guys like, said, like, you know, you know DLC Trifectas, um, dungeons, dungeons, like, like Vet DSA, like, Black Rose, Rose stuff like that. Um, now, now <clears> here comes, comes the, the other question. What do you guys think would be good to make these sets? Worth, worth it, it at, at the end, end. Like, like something, something that, that you would, you would have, have to go, go in there and say, say yeah this this, this is what, what um you know i need, I need to, go to go in there and get this set, set. like, like what, what what would be something that would be changed, changed in order for you to, to, say, to say yeah, yeah i gotta go get, get this set. Set. let's start with bob on that um i mean like the templar one where it drops like the nova they need to reduce how many procs you need for it to even be worthwhile mm -hmm. and it would definitely be more of a like a mob situation where you would use it only in a bunch of bunch of ads or something um I, you know some of the other stuff you know, like the dk one where it like gives you like a molten stance like the heroism ones i think uh i think the dk has one i think what is it the warden has yeah. one yeah. healing with like mm -hmm. the green garden yep. Um, yep. those are those are kind of those are kind of interesting you know i could i could see niche you know niche kind of areas where you might want to try to play with it but um the monolith one from the storm caller that one sounds cool i i don't know how practical it's going to be but it sounds cool you're going to drop a monolith and they can connect with three of them and it increases the damage you know by doing shock damage to something every couple of seconds i don't know like it like they would really have to, i think they would really have to up the damage of the dps ones and lower the and just lower how many uh proc conditions it would take to really make it worthwhile to even try to use it in content um but they're cool for like the solo players yeah, that, yeah. you know if you want to go out and the world bosses and do that kind of stuff I, I just don't see it being used in um trial situations um you know maybe if you want to I mean I, even four man you might be able to kind of use it i mean for clears and stuff but i mean if you're pushing if you're really trying to push time and you're really trying to push your damage output i, I don't think it's, it's not, not good, good. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not good. Now, now the, the, the good, good part, part is that they are testing the Templar, the Templar set. set. They're testing a couple of the sets, of the sets internally, internally um, to, 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 to like reduce. reduce. I, know I know the, the, the Templar, Templar set, they're, they're looking, looking to reduce the, the amount of stacks, of stacks and such. So, I mean, so, I mean that's, that's good, good, I guess. Um, and, I and I know they're, they're, the warden said they're, they're making it a little bit easier to understand because some of these sets, sets when they came out are like, like, whoa, I, I had to, to like read them again. again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what, what the hell, hell is this? Uh, um, so they are doing, doing that, that a little bit, so maybe we do have um, a plan for that. But going on with JP, what do you think would make these sets, you know, like, hey, I gotta go get them? Well, I think like, so I thought about this a little bit. And if you think about like all the sets in the game, like there's a ton and there's like little niche situations for like everything. Mm -hmm. And I think something that's kind of lacking a little bit, and I think they could design this like around certain classes, I would like to see it like supplement something that a class doesn't have. Which would make oh, things okay. like what's what's the gripe with like swords, right? They're all single target. They're not yeah. Yeah. all single target. 
I would like to see those classes have something something supplemented to where, or maybe they turn it into like, and the, the least amount of sets that are still used in the game are AOE sets, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All we have is Azure Flight, like since they nerfed Plague Break. Yeah. yeah. So I think that like seeing some sort of like AOE sets come out of there because there's not enough like diversity in AOE, in AOE sets. Like, 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 it's so fun to play. It really is. That's some of the funnest, and it's kind of a niche set. You don't wear it all the time. It's, it's situational things. I don't think it would be too overpowered, but I think like introducing maybe something, and it could also supp- supplement like the lack of cleave on like you know like knife blade and sword. So I'd like to see it like kind of geared towards what the game doesn't have. Like we don't need any more like useless sets that no one's gonna find, and they they should know their game and. Obviously, like there's certain metas, and that's something that benefits like everybody. It would make the end game go in there and get them right. What if mm-hmm. that was like your 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 tier one? What if that was like, well, not so much after this patch, but what if that was like pillar and nerd basically for AOE or Zero Blade? It was like a little bit better or similar, or made it like more useful. Like everybody would be going in there and getting an end game. Like the casual, like it's still valuable to them, right? Because it's still really yeah. good. Yeah. Like, everyone had to go get Pillar Nerd. Everybody had Pillar Nerd, right, for the last two years. Like, I would like to see that supplemented somewhere. We have enough, like, single-target, like, sets in the game. Like, I would like to see it turn into, like, more of an AOG, AOE-type basis. But imagine if they could tie it into the class. You know, like, you're, mm-hmm. uh, every time you hit a Crystal Frag, the target explodes and does, like, an AOE damage or something cool like that. So that would give sort a little more a or or their lightning form or whatever does like more of a clean so you could tie it into the because i like i really like the idea of the class like specific stuff mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah but maybe they tie that in or every time a night blade like does something it does an aoe or maybe like i don't know not that like arcanus needs it but like maybe when you're beaming you pop your body pulses so you need to be like in melee you know or like hitting stuff i don't know like i would like to see like because I think those sets are really fun to play with, and I, I would like to see some sort of like meta set like come out of it, or add like some kind of monster helms with the currency or something, like new helms or something like that, and make it like good for everyone. They don't need to make these overcomplicated sets that no one's going to care about. Because, like, you know, they uh, people gripe about all the I forget how many sets there are in the game and how many are actually in the game. It just seems like they're adding more. I mean, I think they're on the right idea, so I give them thumbs up for like making class sets but they just need to do something and that'd be one way to like kind of kill two birds with one stone like, supplement the mm-hmm. diversity of class AOE sets right there's not a lot of them in the game and people use them and then you add it into like, the class and make it worthwhile for everyone to use yep, yep. plus it helps and there it kind of fits the content too if you're two manning it you know what I mean you can yeah, yeah, damage exactly. that exactly. cleave in there so I don't know uh, before, um, before we get, we get to, to, to Jen's, Jen's uh, thoughts, thoughts on this, um, I do, I do, I do like, like the what you said, JP, about, about the you know, you know them kind of tying something, something that the, the, the class doesn't, doesn't have, have um, um, in, in order to to, to kind of bump it up a little, little bit. bit. You know, you like, know, like everybody, everybody had pillar, pillar like make, make it to where you know you have, you have to go in there and and get it. It's it's a decent enough set to where it can make a difference. Um, um, I was, I was also, also like, like the, the, the whole monster helm thing. Helm thing. What, what about, about if they, they, you know, if they, if they do add monster helms um, in, in there eventually? eventually that, that, that would be cool too. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it here in a minute. minute. Um, um, yeah. 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 Currency from there. They can keep yeah. the yeah. same ones and add extra stats to what they have too. And like you have to buy them or upgrade mm-hmm. your. That'd be cool. Some sort of upgrade for your monster sets. Yep. Like yep. You can only get from a currency from there. So, so Jen, Jen, what, what do you what think? think? What, what, what would be something that tells, tells you, hey, I could go, go in there and get, get this set, set um, as, 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 as a healer? A healer. Uh, as a healer, it's um, it has to have like best in slot replaceability. What's what's currently been using used on healers has been like the meta for quite a while mm-hmm. so yeah it's kind of old and a bit boring but they they do work really well um you know with with pillagers being the more recent one um you know you're topping up your group on ultimates uh so people are you know getting heavy ultimates or dropping more often which is great um so sets like the heroism it's you know it's not going to replace the pillager um, because we already have supplement sets 
for example, could not just start closing up the near head so that it's not really, um, or burn um, not that, you know, set, help supplement that while wearing another class two set. So you're not going to wear a class set and drop something that you're currently already use in trial situations, just for comparison. Um, this set only works well enough on its own that it's not going to be replaced by one. So I would like to see something more, uh, maybe a new best in slot healer set, but what that is, I couldn't say because the, the sets we have been running have been, you know, providing the things the group needs. Um, I, I, and again, JP touched on sets that are just like, well, you guys all touched on sets that are just way too complicated. Mm -hmm. um, and JP said about how, you know, sets are just like, you know, you, you DPS in any way and this thing happens. I do see them leaning way more on sets that are like you know, overly complicated in their toolkits where you really need to be tracking, like, can I control when this thing happens? You know, am I creating stacks? Am I fulfilling this? Am I using this skill? I'd like to see them simplify that and use just like passive sets where the aim is fun to wear. It's fun to wear, it's fun to play, and it just happens. You don't need to worry about like, have you fulfilled all the conditions at the right time to do it. Okay. Um, um, one, 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 one thing, thing that, 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 that I could, that I would, that I would want to see out of a healing, healing set, set in there, um, whether, whether it be like, like an warden, warden pro, uh, um, you know, like arcane, whichever. Is, is to kind of tie in, in like Gerbils and Pillager together. It's, it's maybe, maybe not, not make it like as powerful as Gerbils and Pillar or like, like you know, as two, two separate, separate sets. sets. But, but have, have a set, set that's, that's like mixes, mixes it, in it in the middle, middle maybe. maybe. Um, um, to, where to where you could potentially just drop Gerbils and Pillar all together. Um, and have this set and then tie it with something else. Um, I mean, I what, mean do you what, think, do you think, what do you think, Jen? What do you think about, about that? About, about having, like, you know, you know something into, into to that, that, like, like maybe, maybe not, not as powerful as, powerful as those two sets, sets together, but, like, bring it, it in down, down, a little bit down, down to earth, earth but, but put, like, like, two of those sets together, potentially, like, or even, like, SPC and Dribbles together as a set. That, that way you could drop, I mean, can you imagine that? That would be amazing, that'd be so fun. Um... Yeah, we need to definitely keep, like, Yorvolt has been nerfed a bit over the last couple of years, and it would be nice to see that get a boost again, because mm -hmm. for the things that it extends, it extends um, buffs that I've applied and shields. It would be nice to see that expanded into it, just another set maybe, like something along the lines of Nazare, where it, you know, it extends um, the debuffs, not correctly, the debuffs to the boss, and it'd be nice to see more things expanded in a set, more, you know, maybe you could increase the duration of people's buffs or increase, you know, people's AOE ticks, something like that. It would be, it'd be great to see a set like your rules that can have more far-reaching abilities. Oh absolutely. oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, now back, back to, to the Monster Hunt thing, thing, because JP did bring, bring in a perfect, perfect thing. thing. Making, Making that, that archive, archive like, doable, doable for, for end game content. content. Um, even, even if it's, if it's just for the currency, currency like, like JP said, said to like put perfected, perfected helms and, and like shoulders, shoulders in there, right? right? Yeah, or something like you could augment your monster set or like make your monster. You could farm a currency to like maybe add like how perfected as like maybe a third line or whatever extra bonus or something to it. Or, or you know, what if we had healer AOE set damage set like when you combat prayer you. A little bit extra damage with it. Oh my god, god that'd, that'd be, be sick. sick. Or, that'd be fun. or like Jen said, when Jen said like buffing the dots or something, that's really cool too. Imagine yeah. yeah. Like there's a healer set that buffed like your AOE for the DPS groups, or or like I said, when you cast a spell, when you cast something as a healer, like it does like a little extra damage just to make. Sure, like, I don't know. They, I mean, they pretty much you guys don't really heal anyways. You're just debuffing. De debuffing, yeah. Part, yeah. And trifecta is you're doing damage too. So like <laughs> you made it so like those sets supplemented a little more of your damage. Made it more like hybrid, made healers and tanks like hybrid, which would make support like people would want to play like that those type of roles like more. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I was. I was... I was, I was hoping, hoping when, they when they announced the class sets, sets like that, I was like, you know, I, I knew they were going to put some sort of healing set in there, 
and I actually was hoping for something along those lines. Either change the meta with it completely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty stag. I mean, healer supports have less of a less options than DPS have these days. Oh Oh, yeah, (laughs) definitely. We have like a million niche sets on the DPS, and it's really fun, like collecting them for me at least, and knowing what situation, which set applies, depending on what you want to do. But I feel like healer sets support in general. Yeah. Or the monster home thing, that'd be fun to like, add on an extra crit line or something on your monster. Or, or, or have, have it to where, where um, like, like, you know how you know they how came up with the enchantments that, that um, you know, you know they, they, they reworked rework the enchantments to where, to where it adds like same and magical recovery. Magic recovery. Have, have like, like a specific, specific enchantment, enchantment that comes out of there that you gotta pay like, you know, 20 currency or something like that. Because that actually, I think that would be a lot easier to make possible because they, they can they can, they can do, do that, that. Um, um they can just add that, that and then have it to where, where like it adds, adds like a specific like, like line of of, of stat, stat to, to, to that particular um gear, gear you know, you know for, for like glyph, glyph. Um, um, and, and, and make oh, it yeah, that'd be, yeah. you'd have max stand and max mag yeah 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 like i don't think and maybe they could limit it to where like I don't know. You'd only you could only wear two of those enchantments. Yeah, I yeah. Like, like a, 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 a mythic, mythic, a mythic enchantment. enchantment. Like, like that, would that would be, be pretty cool. cool. Or whatever. So it's not like super broken, but it's yeah. enough yeah. to wear. Like you know, a, it's, it's worth going in there. Wanna, like mid, would, would definitely want to farm it. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and I mean, it, it, it would be just like a, a, a regular enchantment, and where you can enchant over it too. That way, like it. Um, if if you want to, but. And, and I mean, I mean it doesn't, doesn't have to be, like, super, super, super expensive. Like, like, I still think it should be a little, a little bit expensive. But it doesn't, but it doesn't have to be super, super, super expensive. And, and I think they were doing, doing, you know, like, stuff with, um, the, the, the weekly leaderboards and such. You could, you could have, it have it to where you could get it out of, like, like a little pouch or, or whatever, or whatever yeah, from the leaderboards as well. Um, you know, maybe make it, like, very, very rare, but you could still get it from, like, a leaderboard thing. Um... As, as well, well. Uh, Bob, uh, Bob do what do you think of that? that? Like, do you think, you think that, that would be viable? viable? Oh, the viable word. <laughs> well, it's, it's not going to make the game explode if they put it in. So uh, anything that doesn't make the game not work is viable. But um, I, I think that's a, a neat idea, like a, you know, like a, a mythic type. Yeah, yeah mythic enchantment. enchantment. Type. Uh, I, I mean, we don't have any mythic weapons yet. That would be kind of neat too. Um, oh, that's, that's true. true. But um, but yeah, I, I I like those ideas um, and like the perfected helms or or make or or even I would even extend it to gear. Like be able to like upgrade your gear to be a uh, a perfected if it's not already perfected. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that would be really neat. Uh, give that that currency something else to yeah. Yeah. to use in, inside the game so that you would have so you would want to go back in there and farm it <sighs> yeah, yeah i mean, I mean i'm trying, I'm trying to, figure to figure out a way, way they can implement, implement the, the, the uh, uh like to, to perfect the gear, gear. um, um with, with that, that extra line, line you know like passive, passive or whatever, or whatever um where it doesn't, doesn't have to be like, like Something, something they work on, on for a year to to, to, to get it through. Like, like it could be something that could be added, added next year, year. You know, with the with the, with the big, big update. update. Uh, um, that, that way, way like it gives that, that uh, archive a little bit more playability. Like, like after, after even after it's been already, already out. out. I think I think, I think they're, they're going to add more stuff to the archive eventually because they have the four mythic items and such in specific dungeons. So. I, I, I see, see that, that happening, happening but, but for right, for right now, now, like it's, it's just, just going, going in, there. Get a, get a couple of furnishings, and, and yeah, yeah I'm, I'm out. That's that's, that's, that's my my call, my call right, right here. here. But, but until, until they, they fix some of these sets, sets then, then yeah, yeah, it's it's rough. It's, it's rough. rough. It's um, rough. but what do you what guys do you uh, think are some things they could add to the game after archives to to just Bring, bring in, in the people, the people that, that have, have left, left from update 35. So, so JP, JP, we'll start with you. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I really. I mean, I don't know. 
I don't really like Sanity's Edge, so I think they need to do. And I feel like, I don't know, Arcanus is like pretty big for a little bit, but I don't think it like appeals. Like it appeals to all of us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it appeals to like the general, like, group, like people, people that don't care about like min maxing and stuff. They're just gonna play their like main tune. So I think they need to add. I mean, they, 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 they kind of drop the ball on that trial, to be honest. honest. Like, like yeah. if, if you, you go into Dread, Dread Sail, Sail, like, every, every set, set in Dread Sail, Sail is viable, viable right, right now. now. Like, that's, that's, when, 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 when have, have we been, been able, able to say, say that, that about a trial, trial before? before? I don't, I don't think ever. Like, ever. Was, like, close when it came out with, like, False God and, like, Yeah, yeah but, but, I mean, Vimo was super close, like, way back in the day, like, like, when they had Worm. Yeah, yeah, VCR, VCR I guess, guess like, like with, with VCR, VCR. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, like but, but yeah, they had tr they they hit a home run with like the gear in there because it's like Sam Smith's good, and now with hybridization, like, but, yeah, yeah, I even even, even before Coral was, was good, good like everything, everything else was, was good in there, in there. so. so it was, it was, it was, it was um, I mean, I mean technically, technically it was just as... Coral was always as, good. People just had hangovers from Bashai, basically. <laughs> like it. it's, Coral's always been good. But, like, once they changed it, I mean, that's what really made it shine. Like, made it really playable and easy once they lowered, made the threshold, like, higher or whatever with your stand, but still. I mean, I, mean, I, personally, I personally think that, that in, order in order to get, get the people, the people that, that left, left um, just, just to add, add better... better Achieve, Achieve, like, like better, better achievement, achievement based, based rewards. The issue is, it's like they. I don't think anyone's coming back. There's too many other options like out there in the gaming world. So like, once you lose people, it's hard to make them come back. They're on. They've moved on to like. Mm -hmm. So, and this is like old, you know, compared, yeah. compared to like some of the other stuff that's out there. So I think like. I don't know. I think this this endless archive is kind of a miss for them, and it, I think it only like furthers the amount of people that aren't playing the game. Like honestly, I mean, like a, a quarter a dungeon DLC would have been more. Everyone loves a DLC dungeon. Not everyone like like queues are popping off. You see it in guilds. People want to go run the new dungeon, get the new monster, get the new gear. Nobody is going to be like, oh, okay, let's go do. It. Like there'll be a few people, but I don't think it's going to have the the same. Like, same. Like a, yeah. Cool, because I enjoy like the dungeons and like the landscaping even and like the design aspect. I don't think there's very much design, like the, the idea of the archive and the waves, right? But it's basically just seems like one skin. Or you map. can hold off Yeah, it's yeah. just yeah. overskin, overskinned. Each round is overskin. Nothing like the secret bosses in a dungeon and doing this and doing that. It doesn't seem as it's just it, too linear. It's way too linear. Like just being like exciting. What do you what think, think Bob? You... It's gonna get old very quickly. Is all I'm saying. Where the four, like the back, what I said before, like the four yeah. would have had like more true playability. And without the gear, I just, I don't think there's anything they can really do. Like I think they should need to focus on like maintaining what player base they have like now before they, you know, get people to look elsewhere and people just won't come back because there's just too many other options. Like in gaming in general right now, like too many other things going on. The industry is like changing, and you've got the new great thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, GTA is coming, is coming out, out too next, next year. year. Normally, <laughs> that pulls people away for a little bit, and they circle back around to ESO. Mm -hmm. But you know, I just don't think ESO. I don't. I don't think they're keeping up with like the innovation that's going on outside of like ESO. I think once people leave, they're gone. Unless they have friends in the game or whatever, then obviously like that's literally like the only reason. Lot, I feel like a lot of like in-game groups and stuff together is because of the friendships outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. ESO has the social aspect because that's what keeps me playing. Um, I've had a number of friends that have picked up the game and tried to start playing and left it, you know, within weeks. And it's if you don't find that friend group that you want to like log on for all the time to play with, then it's, it doesn't provide them enough interest to keep going. That, 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 that is, is definitely, definitely it. it. Bob, what, what do you think? think? Like, like, what is, what is, what is uh, the, the, the thing, thing that is keeping, keeping a lot of people in this game? game? Keeping people in the game? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's 
Yeah, I mean, you guys have already touched on it. It's the, <laughs> the it's friendships. friendships. It's the friendships. Um, I mean, is, is the game doing anything that's super groundbreaking at this point? No. You know, is it putting out similar content every every year? Sure. You know, is it some some of it's fun? Uh, I mean, if somebody's left the game, you know, for the most part, they have left the game. You know, they, yeah. they yeah. move on to other things. Um, it, it's it's hard <laughs> to <as a> company <laughs> bring somebody back as a customer uh, if they've left. You know, if they've made the decision to leave, it's really hard to bring somebody back as a customer. So, um, I, I, you know, like JP touched on, I, I, I don't think Elder Scrolls or Zenimax Online is, is attempting to bring old players back. They're attempting to keep what they have as much as they can and attract new, new yeah. players who who may not have have had experience in, in Elder Scrolls, any of the, you know, thirty odd years of Elder Scrolls out there. Um, so I I, I I mean I've I've taken breaks from games. I'm kind of on a, a mini break. Uh, you know, as as it is now, uh, the reason why I log in is because there's a group of people waiting for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm not logging in for any particular achievement per se. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it's, 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 it's it's sad, sad um, in, a way, in a way, but you know, you know maybe maybe, maybe Cinemax will figure, figure out a way to keep, keep us all in here besides, besides our friendships that that, that, that we have. have uh, you know, you know established, established in the game, game. but, but uh, uh, all in all, I'm gonna, gonna wrap this, this up here, here and um, we, do we do have, have a raffle, raffle that, is that is coming up, up. Um, if you guys, you guys are, are interested in that, in that uh, um, the details, details are on the screen, screen. You just, gotta you just gotta deposit, deposit that, that particular, particular item or sax into the guild bank, bank. and, and we're gonna have the price pool that is going to include the house, because gifting is back, isn't that wonderful, gifting is back. Man, Man, that whole, whole thing with the fraud. fraud. Mm. Whew, whew. But, but uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we meant, meant to do this back, back in September, but they kind of saw us kind of took, took a wrench, a wrench into, into our little, little heads and said, no, we can't do that, that just yet. yet. But, but uh, uh, we, will we will be announcing it in the message, message of the, of the day. So we'll, we'll have all that information in there for you guys. I'm going to be a little bit like the last raffle we had where we're going to have a ton of prizes. And, uh, and uh, that, that is going to include room boxes, boxes resort vouchers, vouchers houses, houses, even, even crown, crown crates, crates this time, um, or, or anything, anything in the crown store that you would like for a you know, particular, you know, particular amount, amount of crowns. Of crowns. Um, and, and all, all you, you got to do is deposit, deposit stuff, stuff into the, the guild bank. bank. Jen, 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 Jen loves, loves depositing stuff into the guild bank. Take all my junk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's not going to be just junk, um, Jen. It's not going to be... But... All in all, um, thank, thank you guys for, for, for watching. watching. Make sure you guys like, like and subscribe. And if you have, like, anything that you think will, um... Will be, will be beneficial, beneficial to for sauce to bring in the game, so like we would love to, to hear it in the comment section, and we would love to hear it like in Discord or, or you know in in, in, in the guild chat, chat as well. But, but uh, uh, all in all, you know, thanks everybody for you know coming out and, and have, have a good day. day.